This afternoon, I joined editorial page editor Jack Sullivan, State House reporter Jim Kelly, and business editor John Chesto for an editorial board meeting with Massachusetts House Speaker Sal DeMacy, held in our newsroom at the Patriot Ledger. I know you were in Hull today. Um, could you just tell me how it went and what's going on with the windmills down there and your feelings well, I, on I it? Well, I was in uh, Hull today and I was uh, extremely impressed with the uh, windmill and, and the electricity that's generated uh, from that alternative energy that we've been working on in the State House and that I have been trying to push uh, this issue. And I think we'll have a conference committee report uh, very soon, uh, at least by next week, and have that completed by the end of the year in taking the state into a new era of uh, reform for energy, energy efficiency, alternative clean energy uh, regulations that we think are so important. Uh, you know, I've never been, I've never seen a wind turbine at, up this close. I was actually in it, and I was very impressed by uh, the, the technical aspect of it. And it's completely uh, generated by this computer that uh, maximizes the amount of energy, that wind energy that you can have, and pretty breezy there. And, I, and, and whatever people have been telling me about this being the, uh, the Saudi Arabia wind energy around here, I was <laughs> absolutely <laughs> impressed with the wind up there. And it was on a, uh, a landfill, too, which was, uh, I was impressed with, because you know, why w wh what else would use would you have for a landfill? And, and using it for this purpose as well. And then they were talking about the savings and the green certificates uh, that they get, and they said that they save up to about $600,000 a year for a small town like Hell. That's quite a, an impressive feat. And they, uh, and, they, and they use most of the, uh, uh, the energy for their school and for their street lighting. And this, this is modeled, they're pioneers. I think they started this back in 1985. They are, yeah. And they really have uh, uh, been very in the, in the forefront of this new technology and, this, and the, and the uh, acceptance of this kind of alternative energy in their town. And, and I was impressed by the, the amount of uh, savings that they What is it that we, you were looking for right a hall? Like, what's a bigger application for the state? When you look well, at the, uh, the, the bill I filed back in the beginning of 2007 was the Green Communities Act. And that was to allow these uh, communities to site these um, <coughs> wind turbines for alternative energy use and independence. So that's the purpose. The purpose is to uh, allow uh, and, and have these cities and towns generate their own energy so that they can save money. And there's a lot of cost savings within the town. All of their facilities and their buildings can, uh, can actually be uh, uh, the energy can be provided by any of these these wind turbines that they create. They have two, and they want to. There's another project going up, which is very interesting on offshore, which they want to build another four. And uh, and and it's a uh, it's a light company that the town owns, so that they would generate enough electricity for the entire community. Now, when they do that, uh, uh, the other impressive thing was that they've been able to stabilize the rates. Like, like six or seven years now, mm -hmm. and there were no while other people are getting increases, and it was like 18 cents. Other people are paying uh, per kilowatt, they're only paying, uh, I think it's at 12, 12 or 13, 12 or 13 yeah. cents, and they haven't had a rate increase in six years. So it's impressive, that's impressive. And not only does it allow for greater efficiency and reduction of cost, but it's environmentally. Very, very friendly for us because we, uh, there's no greenhouse gas emissions. Hull, Hull is pretty well positioned um, to uh, deliver that energy though with their own uh, light plant and they've got the transmission lines in place. Um, can, can that still be applied to other communities? Absolutely. Uh, every community can do the same thing and I think in our energy bill uh, we have the uh, allowance and capability of every single town to to, to be able to do this with these grants that we have, uh, you know, there there are uh, the Mass uh, Technology Collaborative has twenty five million dollars a year from rate pays for renewable energy. They use this money for the uh, capital costs that can be provided for this. As a matter of fact, I think they give it, they give a grant of one point eight million dollars to help to do these uh, four turbines offshore. So they uh, but the permitting processes are very 
law and extensive. But does, does the bill address the differences between the, the town with the municipal uh, utility? Yes, it town does. Town yes, it does. We, allow, we allow the towns to do this now. And we also allow the towns, I think, to collaborate because the, the greater geographical area that you can have for the, the capital cost and the uh, bonding allowances uh, and, and you know, the lower the uh, the greater efficiency and the lower the cost for all those towns, which is and which is which I think is a great thing to do. And they, and all the towns can collaborate on that. 